Hi, everybody. This is Miss Hamid, your librarian. Um, I'm really excited to show you how to get on Sora today. Our, um, finally, we got that back. Um, the electronic ebooks or electronic books or ebooks, whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you're not coming to visit me here in the library, which you need to do, but if you're someone that likes, enjoys reading electronic books on your device, on your Chromebook, on your cell phone, I totally get that, respect that, I love that. Whatever you got to do, it works for you. Now you have all these titles here to choose from. Let me show you how to get on there. Um, you can go, um, that hasn't been, hasn't, it's not on Clever yet, if you want to go on through Clever, because I tried that this morning, but it doesn't matter because we can simply click on our Google Apps, which is the waffle here. It's a, some people call it the waffle. If you scroll all the way down, okay, mine is on the bottom. There's Sora. It looks like a little flying robot in blue. And uh, we are the third one down. Dearborn Public School District. If you accidentally click on the wrong district, it won't let you sign in or log in. So you make sure you click on the right one. If not, it's okay. You can always go back, sign in. You're going to choose your Dearborn Public Schools account because um, it is linked to that. So um, you can't use your personal, um, like Gmail, for example, for this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go to Explore. Okay, the Explore is like your home page. Don't worry about this. Explore is your home page. There are ebooks, okay, audiobooks. Audiobooks meaning um, it there is a narrator reading the story or book to you, and there are also magazines. I'm not gonna go through every little tiny thing there because I don't wanna make this video too long. I wanna show you the most important things. Um, I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Before we do that, they usually like have some special like highlight of the week or highlight of the month. This week or month is Halloween and spooky stories. There's 80 books here to choose from. Hispanic Heritage Month, horrors, uh, thrillers and suspense. These are like some really popular books that they intentionally put on here. If you see the little um, like headphone set here, that's telling you it's an audiobook. So you it will be reading it to you. If you prefer that, that's on there. Some people don't like that. They want to actually see the pages like I'm going to show you in a, in a minute here. But I just want you to know it's still a really cool option. I'm going to scroll all the way down. See, there's also magazines. Oh, Star Wars, how cool is that? If you scroll all the way down, <laughs> a lot there. That's okay. We're almost there. Okay, here we go. Popular subjects or genres. Um, just like how our library here at Fortson is, we have sublocations. You can kind of like think about this as sublocations. There's mystery, sci-fi, fantasy, romance, um, young adult fiction, and comic and graphic books, which I know are so, so popular here. I'll click on that. Um, so um, you, I, you see some of mine are being like, more like elementary reading level. And because I have the, because Ms. Hammett has both elementary and high school kind of mix. So don't worry about that. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. Um, so what I guess what I'm trying to say is that the books on here are tar targeted towards your grade levels. Just important for you to know that you're not going to really necessarily see, I don't think any elementary picture books, for example. All right, One Piece. Okay, super popular here at Forts, and you know we have the whole collection, which is awesome. You can also read them um, online, okay, or on your device. Um, if a book says, well, let me start off with Borrow. Okay, so One Piece Volume 10, I want to read that book. I'm just going to click borrow. Say the same thing as clicking, like how we say check out in here. You, uh, Sora calls it borrowing the book. So I'll let that load. And, okay, from here, I am literally like flipping as if I had the book in front of me. I'm just flipping through the pages here. And um, again, it's like I have the physical book right in front of me, but it's, I'm looking at it um, on my device. Okay. Very cool. Now I'm going to go back. Okay. Just going to go back. Um, that book is going to be in my bookshelf. What if I don't finish that all in one sitting? Most, most time when we read a book, we don't. So I'm going to click on shelf and here it is. 
Okay, I click, I'll click on open the book and it just picks me up where I left off. Um, and of course you can flip back and forth. Um, I'm not going to read this book. Okay, I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to click options and I don't want to hold somebody else up that does want to read this book. Yes, there are actually X amount of copies that were purchased. So even though they're electronic books, um, you do there aren't like an endless amount. So, but I'm going to show you an example of that. I'm not good. You can also renew a book. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to return it. I'm going to click return and it'll be out of my bookshelf. Um, it's gone. Same thing with this book here. I, um, was testing it out with uh, one piece volume 13. I don't want it. Okay. I'm going to click return. Now, if this is something that you forget to do, um, it's not a big deal, I guess, because um, you do have it for the book for 27 days, but it would be really, really nice, especially you can get it out of your way, like without having it always there in your bookshelf to return it. Okay. Just kind of like a courtesy thing. Um, holds. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so let's say that you wanted One Piece Volume 1, uh, 103. It doesn't say borrow this time. It says place hold. So let's see what that's all about. That will be available in about two weeks, okay? Someone has it out. It can be available a lot sooner than that because just like how I showed you that you can return a book, hopefully the people or a uh, person or persons that has this, that's reading this right now currently, that they return the book if they're done uh, maybe today or tomorrow. And how will you know? Well, it'll be in your bookshelf and then you click on hold and then bam, there it is. Okay. Uh, so you can keep checking to see if that's there. Let's click explore. What if you know a specific title that you want that I don't want to look through the genres and there's thousands of books here and that's great, Ms. Hammond, but I have a specific title in mind. Great. You just click on search. Um, I'll just choose the book Wonder, and here it is. I would click Borrow, and um, it's going to be on my bookshelf, so I can pick up where I left off. Um, for example, if I wanted to re read White Bird, I'd place a hold on that one. Same thing, I like I told you, it would be in your bookshelf. Um, so the, your two best friends here are your Explore and um, your bookshelf. So if you're not sure, if you ha don't have, you have something you need to read for a read to self time in class or just hopefully something you wanted to read at home and you're not sure what you wanted um just like i tell you guys when you come in here if you're like well i don't know what i want to check out today i'm not sure what i'm interested in what kind of movies do you like to watch do you like to watch mystery movies oh okay then maybe you would be interested in reading um mystery mystery books okay so that I think that's a good idea or a good place to start. And then you can just scroll down and see what you're interested. Ah, Five Nights of Freddy. That's another one that a lot of you ask me about. So those of you that like Five Nights of Freddy, um, that was under mystery. Um, okay, on your cell phone, on your iPad, whatever device that you're using, you can download the Sora app. What if you're like, well, I'm not reading, um, I'm not carrying around a Chromebook, Chromebook Miss Ham. I'd rather just read from my device at home. Awesome. So this morning somebody came in and we um, did a little practice on his cell phone. We downloaded it from the app store. It's free. Um, so it's Sora, S-O-R-A. You see that little blue robot looking person there. And um, we downloaded the app. Same thing. Um, you're going to choose Dearborn Public Schools. If you don't see that there, you, you can click on um, find school and you would just type in Dearborn Public and it, it will pop up. For some reason, uh, we had to do that with him um, and you may have to do the same, but it's not a big deal. You'll only have to do that once. If you don't see Dearborn Public Schools, just type in Dearborn Public. You'll see it's a little search. It's very, very um, easy to follow. And then, um, like I said, you'll use your student um, login for Dearborn Public Schools. Um, it does not, this won't, you won't be able to read or look at the books with your personal um, account, okay? So if you have any questions, you know where to find me. I'm in the library. We can look at this with, with the Chromebook or you can bring in your, your cell phone during lunchtime, during passing time. If you need me to walk you through that, um, it's, really, it's really simple, okay? But of course, if you need help, that's why I'm here. Um, thousands of books, thousands of books here, okay, to read and choose from and to enjoy. So, um, you can see why we were so 
I am, and I hope you are so excited about this. If ebooks are not something that you enjoy, not everybody does, then I better see you here in our library um, checking out books in here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and this was easy enough to follow.